Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Nautilus in the mid lane. And we're running Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. We're gonna go AP Nautilus and Burst Enemies. Everybody thinks he's a tank, but he actually can be played as a mage. He has really good AP ratios. He's pretty hard to trade with early. He's a good counter pick into Assassins. If you don't like playing against like Yasuo, Zed, Yone, you could pick this guy. And you can actually fight them early. Now what I like to do, since this is a ranged matchup, even in melee matchups, you start with the shield. And then you can walk up and hit the wave with it. It actually has wave clear it. It does like an area of effect burn on anything you hit. But you need that shield to block the early poke from people. See, I got that minion without even hitting it. And then also I blocked all of her Q damage. But... I should have gotten the wave pushing level 1 for me. So she's going to hit 2 first. So I just need to, like, not get poked out too hard. What spell did she get? She either got charm or her W. She already has Q. Ooh, I maybe could have leveled up hook there and try pull her under turret. I guess the thing is, when they do push you into tower 2, you can pull them in just like Blitzcrank. But see, she's she's using everything. I'm really not taking that much damage. Let's wait till I trade her back. Okay, we're level three now. Ooh, there's a gank. She's gonna have to flash. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. Yay! I press hook and she's dead. Well, that's the plus side of getting pushed in. If you're pushing the enemy in, your jungler's not going to gank your lane. Just because it's not really possible to gank somebody under a turret early. But if Ari's under my turret, she dies. Okay, so you can actually max a bunch of different abilities on Nautilus. I wouldn't recommend Q for mid lane. That's where they do support. I would either get the shield or the E. I would prefer the E. E though. And we're gonna do Rocket Belt as our mythic. I want the magic pen. Maybe I should have got seal and book. Well I'll just take the wand. And then while you run into lane, you can throw your hook at like the inhib. And sometimes it'll latch on. We'll try that again next time. I was a little bit too far away. An enemy has you know, it has like a gigantic hitbox for hitting champions walls. Not as much. But you get half the cooldown reduced if you uh, hit terrain. I'm just going to walk up with my shield. Auto, then E. And look how low the wave is already. <gasps> my cannon! Stop it, Ari. I mean, the thing is, I just tanked a whole minion wave and cleared it. And she's just as low as me. Did she flash? Well, she did. So the combo I do there is I hit the hook, then I auto attack, and then I press W because Nautilus's W is actually an auto reset. So I got two hits there, and then I save the E for the end because the E, using the E can cancel your auto attack. Um, there was a briar in the river. If I stay for this, I might just die. I can't quite get away from her. We'll just reset. I can get that book and seal, I think. Or almost get it. Or we could do seal and boots. I don't have flash. Let's just get damage. Damage is fun. But yeah, I do a lot of damage. If you can get somebody to half health, you can always kill them in one combo. Wow, I didn't know his ult had 80% ratio. The reason we max the E over the Q is because the E has much lower cooldown and it hits more targets. And it's your wave clear. If I max Q, I wouldn't be able to clear this wave. See, I can poke her also. Delicious. 
You're just, you're gonna get more ease off in a fight than anything else. You're only gonna be able to use Q and W once in a fight. Whereas the E, you could use like three times. I'm not gonna alt here. She's full health, so there's no reason to go for an all in. But honestly, if I ulted and ignited her there, she would have died. <laughs> My E did so much damage. I didn't think she would die that quick. Now, you can hit some crazy hooks. Like, she's standing on the side of the minions, and I throw it a little bit off. The hook has, like, a lollipop effect where it hits around the area it lands. So you can kind of hook people behind a minion if they're sticking out just a little bit. I mean, I feel like I'm going to get ganked by Briar. I don't know if I can get away from Briar. Oh, that was close. You can buffer the charm, too. Like, as long as I throw the hook out right before the charm lands on me, I'm still going to be able to hook her if it hits. That's hook's not fine. Oh, well, she's pretty low. There's fruit up here. I want the fruit. I don't know why Poppy needs all the fruit when she's full health, but she's hungry. Now, if she's over a wall like this, all I could do is alter, and then I wouldn't be able to kill her, but... Oh, I didn't get the auto attack off. I went a little bit too fast with the E. But also, doing that auto-reset combo gives her a brief window to ult away. But luckily, Electrocute killed her. I like Electrocute over Harvest. You you always have three hits to proc it. And then you can either take Cheap Shot or Sudden Impact. I'm not sure which one's better. I mean, Sudden Impact's better if you're going to be doing a lot of damage with full AP. But Cheap Shot's a bit more reliable. It's probably better early. Sudden Impact's better later on in the game because the, ch the Cheap Shot true damage doesn't really scale. I don't think I can get this. Okay, so second you can either max your shield or your Q. We're going to max Q just because we want to do a lot of damage. If we're struggling to stay in lane, we'd put more points in W. But the W doesn't really get that much stronger with leveling. It scales with um, HP. And we don't have that much HP, so you can hook through this. Who's on a killing spree, Ash? Double Dorans. I think we could kill Ari in one hook now, as long as we have Ignite up. Okay, I want to help them at Dragon, but I also see a cannon minion. Not on it anymore. They have a really nice wave clear. Once I have rocket belts, I have the magic pin, I have the dash. I gotta be careful hooking her in front of tower, though. She could charm me under turret, and I really don't have that much armor. Three turret shots will kill me. Ari's probably in this bush. Oh. And she got killed in one combo. That was weird. The, I hooked her, but then I got, like, stuck on the wall because it had that lollipop effect. It, it, like, hooked her around the wall, and it pulled me into the wall and, instead of her. But, I mean, this is really good versus squishy champs. You're not the greatest against tanks, but if you're against a tank, you probably want to just switch to, like, a bruiser in Nautilus and just get, like, a demonic and burn them. Because Bruiser Nautilus is really good too. You go like Sunfire Demonic and you just stay alive and cook them. That's me. Oh. I was not expecting that angle. I'm kind of glad that didn't hit. I wanted her to chase me a little bit further. But yeah, Ari would need... If Ari just bought Merc Treads... She would not die 100 to 0 in my combo, but nobody wants to buy Merc Treads because everybody wants to have fun. In Hari Low, people will go Merc Treads first item against you. For some reason, Merc Treads. How much MR is it? 20, that 25 MR just like stops people from one shotting you like mages. It feels like a force in nature for some reason. 
Okay, we can force her to ult. She gets out of the minions. I could just block at her. Oh. Oh, she's coming back. I didn't have hook up. What I could do to get a guaranteed hook is I could just straight up alt her now that she doesn't have her her alt to dash away. Because if I if I alted her at the start of a fight, she's just gonna use her dashes to get too far away from me from my hook. But now all she possibly has is flash. I like hid that hook. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, there's a flash. But Poppy could no, potentially. You can hide the hook in an E. So I cast the E and then the hook right after, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna hook. I think missing. The only downside of the rocket belt is I will run out of mana after like one or two fights. But this is way better than going something like a Ludens. I guess you could go in Everfrost too, but this this is just probably the best item. I mean, the thing is, if I don't kill someone in my mana pool, then they're probably not going to die. Extra mana wouldn't save me. I need to kill them in the burst. Just burst him or I'm dead because I'm not going to survive that long. We kill bot lane. I only have one ultimate hunter stack. I've killed Ari four times. Pretty much five times. I don't have ult. They probably know I'm coming. They already backed up. I mean, oh yeah, that would... Sword would definitely alert them that I'm coming. Also, if you guys could do me a favor, and subscribe to the channel if you're not. I just want today's goal to be hit of gaining one subscriber. So if one of you could hit the subscribe button if you haven't, that'd be great. Turret plating will soon fall. That goes pretty far. I knew I didn't need to alt. Because one, I mean, I was just throwing that hook out for poke. Wasn't fully expecting it to land. But since Poppy was following up on it, all I had to do was rocket bolt. I haven't played Nautilus mid in a hot minute either. I forgot how oppressive he is. He becomes meta sometimes. I mean, it hasn't been a while since he was meta mid, but when he becomes meta, you're going to see a lot of Nautilus mids. And, like, you don't have to run Electric. You can run Aftershock, and then you can be really tanky and still build full AP. I mean, I'm definitely on a ward. Oh, she's pretty low. Alright, see you later. Oh my god, I could kill her too, I think. And there we have it. I just need Camille. I think Fiora is winning. For now. Well, could go Majai's. I mean, I don't necessarily want to win the game in 20 minutes, but that might just happen. I'll just go Shadow Flame. You could also throw in a Lich Bane. It's nice. There's like a bunch of different items I could build. I could build Hourglass. Lich Bane Hourglass are really good on him. I think Nord lives. Yeah, he does so much damage. Is this combined with my W damage? I auto attack him. Oh man. I kind of forgot about this. I forgot this is viable. And on my main account, if I am in a bad matchup and I want to play something easy, I might just pick Nautilus mid. Hello. 
No, oh, she's dead. And that's a full Nautilus combo minus an alt. And the nice thing about ADCs is like this Ash is never going to be able to survive that unless she builds a uh, Wit's End. Or she gets the Karma Shield. I shouldn't have ulted. I just saw Karma there. I like already made up my mind on that ult. Oh, that hits. Oh, that was so close. Um, I'm gonna back up actually. There's probably gonna be a stray ash arrow coming right down mid. Eventually. I need to get Camille. I might just go like Majaya's and Deathcap next just to do like a ton of damage, but I am getting a lot of auto attacks off on them. Lichbane is really nice for that W auto reset. Because you do get a, if you land the hook, you do get a free auto attack pretty much. You at least get one auto attack. If you do the auto attack reset right, you can get two. But if you do the auto reset, they have a small window to get out of it. And you might not hit your E then if they flash or dash. But you can also use the E, I guess, while you're pulling in with the Q like this. Oh, uh, that didn't hit. You have to do it a little bit later. I like to wait till I'm on top of them because then it just... If they do dash, it will still hit them. Where did that go? Um, she doesn't have MR. So. Alright, Camille now. The only way they can kill me is if they're all together. Like if I jump into five people. But I've been catching people one by one pretty much lately. Well, if I go in here, I don't actually have enough mana. But I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, that book took half of her health. I'm just gonna go in. I don't care. Uh oh. Well. I can't get out of here. Goodbye, world. Well, that's the least likely person I wanted to give it to. It's Camille, but it's okay. I mean, I'll just get the death cap before the Magi's. They get objective bounty on that, too. I mean, we have champions. We have champions that can kill a fed Camille. We have Fiora, Poppy, Yasuo, Morg has Leandres. Like, I could do my job and one shot all three of these people. And then it makes the game 5v2. I can't really buy anything here. Um, yeah, that was an interesting hook. Now, I think I can hook this wall, because it's actually still terrain. You can just walk through it. So I can beat Camille in a 1v1 just because she doesn't have MR, but I do need Ignite, because she, she has enough HP where my combo doesn't kill her 100 to 0. It'll leave her with, like, 20% HP. The flank. Kill her with the hook. I don't know what happened to Ash. I just pressed R on her and looked away, and she's dead. Oh, Ari might die here. And there it is, GG with the Nautilus. I guess I'll play another, I'll add another one onto this, cause I mean, I enjoy playing this. I know I could beat whoever I'm against with Nautilus. Let's see the damage really quick before we get into game two.
18k. Here's rune stance. All right, we got game two, Nautilus. This time we're against a Lux. It should be just as easy as the Ari, actually. Maybe even easier, because Lux doesn't have any dashes. She does have shield, though, and she didn't take barriers. She took barriers. She'd be harder to kill, but we're just going to start our shield again. Uh, this game, I'm going to try and push the wave level one, so I have two first. So I'm going to walk up. I'm going to hit the casters first and put an auto on like each one. Back up, wait for my shield, since she's just prioritizing poking me instead of actually hitting the wave two, so I'll hit two first for sure. I got an auto attack on her. <laughs> How many times did she auto me? Like five, and then I hit her once and she lost 25% of her HP. I've dodged her E's just because usually Luxes will throw the E behind you. But I'm just going to walk towards her so it doesn't hit. Okay. Can't really fight her. Maybe it's better if I do just sit back till 3. I mean, I made her miss a lot of CS. Because every single one of these that hits the turret, she's not really going to get. I'll ward down here. Poppy took Bully Bear's... Uh, Oh, that one actually hit me. At least I blocked a full shield's worth of damage. Right, yeah, we need level 3 to pretty much fight back. If you're against a melee champ, you don't need level 3. I can walk up. She's going to want this cannon. I don't think it's in her... did a lot. Um, Volley Bear is going to be ganking mid from up here. I could tell. I saw him at his blue. So I could get Lux if I hit this. And then Volley Bear will run out of the bush and maybe I can get away from him if I don't have to flash. We'll just look for hooks. At this health, if I all in her with Electrocute Ignite, I think she's dead. <laughs> I have to flash auto because she wouldn't. Oh my god, the shield. Oh, that's really unlucky. That is very tragic, actually. I mean, now I'm level 4. There's 100% of Volibear here. Why are you staying? Her shield actually saved her twice there. And then also, she leveled up before that fight. So I was a level under. Wait, Volibear is at our blue. I thought I saw him top. Uh, I could die to her. Oh. If she hits Q on me, I'm dead. But I could survive her E. Oh, she has uh, she has no more mana. There we go. <laughs> Your shield saves you, my shield saves me. I had a feeling she was going to flash in. I thought she used it already for some reason. But after I saw her pathing towards me after landing that E, I knew she was going to flash auto. What is this? Let's go fishing. Uh, I might die. I got to keep going. Oh, no. Unfortunately, she had heal. If she didn't have heal, I would have killed her. It's fine. At least I got a kill out of that. We could do... I mean, I could just grab an alternator right away. That would actually give me a lot of burst. Alternator refill. Just hook that. I mean, I'm up 10 CS. Lux didn't get a kill. Jinx did. Jinx might actually be hard for me to kill if she has that Morgana shield. I don't know why Morgana has grasp. But Lux, no potions. So if she takes bad trade here, she's going to have to almost reset pretty much. I mean, even if I kept chasing Jinx here, there was a Morgana in the bush, too. Where you going? Oh. I should have kept walking at her, because she's just pathing away where she actually couldn't avoid that hook. But I got a little impatient. Center spells. I want this cannon, but I also don't want her to get her cannon. I just walk at her. Okay, she's dead now. We'll just alter. Not 
like how slow the alt goes, and she just knows she's going to die if it hits her. But yeah, in a, a tougher matchup, you could go after your shock as your main thing, and then take, like, demolish or bone plating. Or not bone plating. Um, shield bash. Shield bash really good on Nautilus. Seal. Boots. What have I done? Jinx is big. But ADCs, I think, are the least of our problem. I mean, I'd rather have it be a Morgana than, like, a Lulu. We could break the spell shield. But realistically, we want to be able to catch that Jinx without Morgana shielding her. Um, this is pushing towards me. I could just stand in this wave. Lux will try to throw an E to poke me and then end up shoving it into my turret. And she still doesn't have flash, so if Lux does get hit by a hook and she's really far away from turret, she dies. But if she hit, gets hit by a hook, she's losing. She has to base. She's losing all of her health. I guess this wave is actually pushing towards her. Where is she? I think they're on dragon. I'll just shove it. I don't really want to go check just in case it's like I walk into the bush and there's three people there. Let me just try and get this. Yeah, there's a Morgana. What the? Uh-oh. Um, you know, based on how long it's taken for Lux to come back to lane, I think she might have quit. Her name is Speedy Assassin. She's very speedy to leave the game, and if she's an assassin main, they do like to leave the game after they die once or twice. So I will just now be a roaming Nautilus. Coming. They can just chunk him down. Nice. No shield. Jinx is slow enough I could kill her. Ooh. Oh, she's going to die. Where are you going? Um, if she runs up in the jungle, she's gone. She could be recalling. I think she's out. Bully Bear is just trying to scare me away so she could recall, probably. Yep, we made Lux uh, rage quit. That's two days in a row. We kill somebody two times and they leave the game. It's like the two death power spike. <laughs> All I have to do is kill the enemy twice and it magically shuts off their PC. And somehow uninstalls the game. Well, this guy's dead. He has phase rush. He could zoom away, but he's, he's pretty much dead. I was not expecting him to run this way. Oh, not the magical R button. Into the pit. Oh, back out of the pit. Now, I can still hook her with a shield on. It's just not going to stun her. Surprised that didn't hit me. Stop autoing me. All right, let's get the Rocky Belt. You get back to lane pretty quick, even without upgraded boots. Just keep hooking the turrets. If I hit Morgana with Q and can E her... Oh man, I thought that was going to hit.
I mean, Jinx has to lane alone now. I don't know if I can fight Volibear just because he can be so tanky, he won't die fast enough. But once he gets autoing. This is pretty good. She played that pretty well. She did not want to go down, but I mean, I still got her shut down, so I'll take it. Oh, nice, the push into the Seraphine. She had flash and heal, though, again. And the tower started shooting me the second I went under it, because she cleared the wave. But I didn't have to use either of my summoner spells there. He has armor, so she could change. Bobby has more armor than me, I think. She has 120. I had 72, so yeah. Way better if she tanked there. Because she also can get out of turret easier. Oh, the rocket belt there. That was like a really weird dodge she had on that hook. I mean, it was an easy hook to dodge. It's just like the the way she dodged it was weird. Wait, I'll be able to nuke Jinx unless she builds like a shield bow. Let's do this. Sell this for this. We'll just do Shadow Flame again. Magic Pen's so strong. We don't really need more haste. I mean, the Jinx, if I didn't have Flash there, that Jinx would have killed me. Hope she doesn't have anybody around her. I might not win this. I'm out of stuff. <laughs> My E didn't come up again. Yeah, she can live with like one HP if I need an ignite. She does a lot of damage. I mean, she's more fed than me, so. I know it explains it. But I, I didn't have ults up there. No, oh, she's dead now. All good. Wow, that Volley Bear is actually really squishy. I mean, Aatrox is just a really balanced champion. Like, why play Riven when you could play Aatrox? Okay, there we go. There's GG. Unfortunately, we, game two was not as good as game one, but I mean. Nautilus is just so OP that you kill Lux twice and she leaves the game debuff. Look how much damage I did there. Well, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you didn't earlier, and leave a comment below. Give me some ideas on what I should play next. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the other channel with another video today. Make sure you subscribe to both of them. Peace!